Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. This is it, folks, kicking into the last week of the year and kicking into 2020. How's that, man? Holy cow. Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. This, this is a trippy card, man. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system. So whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. That's the part that's pretty trippy. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 177, NASDAQ up 88, SP's up 21. Gold, gold contract up $5.20 trading at 2,074 an ounce. We have silver flat, $24.50 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 85, $75.41 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note up two ticks trading 112.21. The 30 year up 12 ticks at 124.05 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down. 231 ticks trading 101, 468. Euros at 110. Yen's at 142. British pounds at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you got a short week. It's going to be an illiquid week, and they want to run the market, folks. Okay, you got a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. If we take a look at the SPY, put this back, and what you're going to see out here is that you're, you're approaching, you know, first off, we're approaching the high. Yeah, we haven't hit the high, first off. We're 475.78, but we have another ABC structure up to 502. So I expect we're going to get there. You know, first we're going to take out that high, but my take is that, yeah, we're going to not only take out that high, we are going to get into that ABC structure up because there's straight line moves. We take a look at the Qs. The Qs had already taken out its high. Now, the Qs are going to be a lot easier to hit this ABC structure, too. It's only 25 points away from where we are right now. The Qs need to get a little bit more away from the high it's just taken out, which is the all-time high. Right now, you're at 410.79. 434 is the number. Okay? Notes and bonds. Now, check this out. Now, this, this is a trip, folks, okay? So you had an auction this morning. And this thing is so strong, it's unbelievable. So you had an auction out here this morning. And the way this works, folks, is this, is that you had indirect buyers, okay? So they were pushing out uh, a huge amount of paper this morning at actually 1 o'clock this afternoon, actually. They were pushing it out. Well, what you had, so inside the Treasury market, you have primary dealers. And then you have, so if it's a primary dealer, that's called the direct market. Then you have an indirect market. An indirect market would be other central banks, would be you and I if you're on Treasury Direct. You can, you can bid on these things, okay? Well, the bottom line is that it came in at, <coughs> excuse me, a record 77.6% was indirect. Then that's the third largest share ever of an indirect on a, on a two-year note. OK, and of course, you know, we know why, because folks <coughs> are understanding that rates are going down and everyone's piling in. And, you know, if we, if we go back to, you know, what we've been talking about for quite some time now is that, yes, the Fed hasn't gone down on rates yet, but the market has gone down on rates. OK, in a monster way. So you have a huge demand and the demand is overtaking the supply. OK, which is really wild. OK, now the next draw and then then what also on, on top of that would end up happening is that the let me get this straight, that the rate that the Treasury thought that they were going to sell these at, it actually went under that rate because the demand was so heavy. OK, uh, now what we're going to see on Thursday, this was this was today. Thursday, what's going to happen? Yeah, he yeah, So that the, they, they sold. 57 billion, this is the one that went under the rate today. 57 billion or two years, they went under the rate that the Treasury thought they were going to get. They ended up selling it at 4.314. 4 and the Treasury thought that they were going to have to sell them at 4.595.
So you can see that's that's pretty intense, man. When you're talking about f multiply 57 billion times uh, <laughs> 20, <laughs> well, I'm not going to do this math right now. But 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 you get the gist of it. The gist of it is that much larger demand than there is supply. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening Thursday. But my my take on Thursday, it's going to be the same thing. Why? Because the the rate cycle, the high rate cycle is over, and what you have here is that there'll be huge amounts piling into that structure because it's still a good structure, meaning it's still, you know, you're getting 4 or 5%, and that's a no-risk deal because you're, you're talking about treasuries. You're talking about notes. Yeah, so it's a big deal, man. We get out of the gold. We go, go to the gold market. We take a look at the gold market out here. That gold market right now, we got above the consolidation last week, and we did it with volume, by the way, okay? Volume actually came in on Friday. And that's pretty cool for a vacation week, man. I mean, the bottom line is that there's 170,000 contracts. So your next leg there, you know, we're at 2,074. The next leg is at uh, 2,150. And my larger take is that, yeah, we're going to go up to this uh, 2,500. This A to B, the, the A to B equals C to D is 2,500. And there's plenty of stuff happening inside of the dollar and the world in general that uh, it could get there pretty quick. The dollar, when we take a look at this dollar, what you're going to see is that the dollar on Friday broke, broke to lower. We're just about breaking the lows of Friday now, and it's, it's, not a, it's, not a, it's not a big reach now to hit 99 before this Friday, or at Friday. That's, that's how I think this thing is shaking out. We're at 101,472. Your swing point down there is uh, 99,578. You know, so you, you, you're two points off it. Two points, just so you know, 236, these come in thousands, okay? So you get two points, you get 2,000 on the way down. Well, guess what? Sometimes this dollar has been moving at a clip of about, uh, you know, 900 on those big days. So we could hit that in a couple days. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 179. NASDAQ's up 88. S&P's up 21. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.